The beam remains there, firm, asking for nothing in return. Now three loads visit it, precise, equidistant, like carefully measured steps across its back. Once again, the reactions adjust. There's no confusion, only calculations settling into place. The shear force begins with the first step. Once more at the value of the reaction, it moves forward, then drops, sensing the presence of the first load. It remains constant and drops again, two more times. Three steps, three marks of what's happening on the outside. Each section between loads is a tense calm, a brief balance before the next impact. It's in these quiet segments where the beam holds its breath. The loads haven't broken it, but they've reshaped the story written across its length. Strength and flexibility now walk side by side, uncertain of what's next, but prepared. The bending moment again starts at zero, rising swiftly, obeying the slope dictated by the first shear jump. At the first load, it slows, still climbing, but as if it's struggling to reach the peak. It conquers the highest point once again at midspan, WL slash two. From there, it begins to fall, first gently, then faster, in sync with the rhythm set by the shear force until it returns to zero. 